Hello and good morning friends, welcome to the CEC Edisec live lecture. Dear friends, today in this lecture we are going to talk about JIT. Now you would be wondering what JIT is. JIT is just in time. This is one of the lecture under, under the series of operations management. We would be going uh, to discuss about this very topic in detail in this very lecture and I would like to tell you all. Uh, now uh, you want to find out uh, how without uh, maintaining inventory one can uh, uh, efficiently run the operations department is a question but uh, with the help of this lecture you would be knowing all this because uh, today we have again with us in our studios Dr. Subhash Kakkar who Hello. is going to uh, talk on this very topic uh, on uh, uh, elaborate uh, way and I hope that uh, you would be going to find this lecture very very interesting because Dr. Subhash Kakkar always with the help of uh, efficient examples good examples elaborate the topics and I hope that uh, with his knowledge uh, as he visits uh, various um, uh, countries as well as uh, he participate, uh, attend, organize various uh, workshops and uh, conferences, uh, would be able to give his uh, uh, insight into this uh, very topic that is JIT just in time. So, without wasting time, I would like to hand over this particular lecture to Dr. Subhash Kakkar and under his able guidance, we are going to learn about JIT that is just in time under our series Operations Management. Thank over you, to you, Gitika. sir. Thank you so much for giving such an elaborate introduction. Viewers, today's topic is JIT and this lecture is part of the series on operations management. And so far we have conducted so many lectures and we have discussed a lot of topics. And the next topic today is JIT, meaning is just in time. Just in time, actually this also means lean manufacturing and a Japanese term Kanban. And today we will discuss how to use the tools of JIT so that we run the operations management department efficiently. JIT is removing fats from the operations to make the operations lean. And this is called lean manufacturing. As we know, the extra amount of funds wasted in operations is a fact. We block the money, we block the funds in inventory. If we do so, not only we block the funds, we require more space to store the items, whether these are finished product, raw material or semi-finished products. We require bins for storing them. We require personnel to look after them. Then for some of the items, we require an air-conditioned atmosphere and losses are things become obsolete in due course of time and we do not want to waste the money like this. So, we use a process which is called just in time. As we have already discussed in operations management, there are two systems basically push system and pull system. Pull system is which runs the operations from the customer requirements and each work center pulls the items from the previous or the preceding work center and this is called pull system. Customer gives the requirement and the finished product center fulfills the requirement of the customer. For doing that, the finished product work center demands the items from its preceding work center and the previous work center will demand the items from its previous work center. And finally, the requirement will go to the raw material department or the stores department. And the things are being maintained. Now, we will say just in time, we have to understand just in time whenever there is a requirement of any item, the item will be ordered at that time only. When the items are received, these will not be stocked in the store, but these will be received at the shop floor. And from the shop floor, these will be utilized 
on the work centers, on the machines and the products will be manufactured and this is the meaning of just in time. And this is a simple meaning, simple explanation to just in time and today we will devote more time to discuss the complete process of just in time manufacturing. When there is a pull system, the other system is push system. Push system runs with planning and this is MRP, material requirement planning and nowadays we have MRP 1 and MRP 2. MRP 1 is material requirement planning and MRP 2 is manufacturing resource planning. When we say MRP 2 manufacturing resource planning, this covers other functional areas also which are involved in the operations management. So, we have included other manufacturing resources also and we call it MRP 2 and this is not replacing the previous MRP 1, but this is in addition to MRP 1 and MRP 2 is introduced. We will not talk about MRP, we will talk about only JIT in today's lecture which is just in time. What is JIT? It is producing only what is needed. Sometimes we want that whatever is required we should produce something extra to it, but JIT does not suggest such a philosophy. We have to manufacture only that quantity which is required, which is required by the customer not more, not less. So, when it is needed, not early, not late, not less, not more. There are four things being discussed here. We are to deliver the items exactly at the time when it is required. We should not manufacture the items in advance. We should not manufacture the items late and the quantity should also be such that it should be just required quantity not less and not more and this is governed by GIT manufacturing technique. Achieving high volume production using minimal inventories. This has also come from GIT technique that we have to maintain minimum inventory while running the operations management department. An integrated but simplified system, GIT is an integrated but at the same time it is a simplified method for running the operations department. GIT's mandate elimination of all waste in production effort. So, we have to eliminate all the waste which is produced while manufacturing a product and we will discuss what are different wastes are there in operations department. Just in time GIT, it is simply called GIT, a highly coordinated processing system in which goods move through the system and services are performed just as they are needed. Supplies and components are pulled through the system to arrive where they are needed, when they are needed just in time. Again we have discussed here the pull system because the things are pulled through the system whenever they are needed, not before and not later. A management philosophy of continuous and forced problem solving by attacking the root causes. This is also a method for reaching the root cause of a problem in the organization. Lean production and lean production has also come out of GIT technique. GIT is lean production and lean production is GIT. Lean production supplies customers with exactly what the customer wants, when the customer wants without waste through continuous improvement process. GIT operates with very little fat and this fat is the inventory, this fat is inventory. When fats are removed, the operations become lean and this is called lean manufacturing or lean production. What does just in time do? It attacks waste, anything not adding value to the product. So, that particular thing which is not adding any value to the product is removed 
and that is considered as a waste, that is considered as a fat. Achieves streamlined production by reducing inventory. Inventory is practically brought to a zero level in GIT and if we do so, our production line becomes streamlined. Exposes problems and bottlenecks caused by variability. All the bottlenecks come to the surface when we are running the operations department maintaining zero inventory. Goal of GIT. Now, we will discuss what exactly is the goal of GIT. Goal of GIT. The ultimate goal of GIT is a balanced system. Achieves a smooth, rapid flow of materials through the system. Balanced. Everything is balanced. Supply, uh, supplies are balanced with respect to the requirements of the work centers. And whatever is needed only that is supplied and it maintains the balance between all the work centers. Supporting goals are eliminate disruptions. There are no stockouts in GIT system, so no disruptions are there. Make the system flexible. The system is flexible at any stage. We can change the product being manufactured. We can change the quantity being manufactured and it is called a flexible system. Eliminate waste, especially excess inventory. Now, we will discuss the blocks of GIT and its goals. GIT goals and building blocks. We will start with the ultimate goal and which, which is a, a balanced rapid flow. There should be a smooth flow of items in the operations department while manufacturing a product or while answering a service call. Supporting goals are eliminate disruptions, make the system flexible and eliminate waste. These are sub supporting goals. The main goal is we are to make smooth system a balanced rapid flow system without any hindrance and the supporting goals are eliminate disruptions, make the system flexible and eliminate waste and these are done through product design, process design, personal elements and manufacturing planning and these are the building blocks which are required to have GIT in operations. The main important goal is a smooth and balanced flow of material. Supporting goals are eliminate disruptions, make the system flexible, eliminate all the waste and this is done through product design, process design, manpower and manufacturing planning. And this came from Shaichiro Toyoda. Waste is anything other than the minimum amount of equipment, materials, parts, space and workers time which are absolutely essential to add value to the product and this was given by Shaichiro Toyoda, president of Toyota company and this quotation has come from him only. He has practiced GIT in different organizations, different factories of Toyota. Sources of waste. Now, we will understand what all sources of waste are there and where to attack so that we get rid of all the waste being generated in the organization. First, we will understand these waste. We will understand how these are being generated. What is the solution to eliminate these waste? That means, to get rid of these waste, first we will understand all different waste which are being there in the organization. Overproduction is first waste. We produce, we manufacture something more than what is required. That is again a waste. We should not be manufacturing something in surplus because the needed quantity will go to the customer, additional quantity, 
surplus quantity will have to keep in our store that is a waste. And next is the waiting work centers are waiting for the products work centers are waiting for the raw material work centers are waiting for the semi finished product maybe work centers are waiting for machines to be cleared for production machines are waiting for setup so all this waiting time is again a waste we have to keep it to a zero level all the waiting time in the organization unnecessary transportation unnecessary what is not needed and this is done this is studied through process mapping whatever waste transportation activity is there we must get rid of that activity we should remove that activity from the process and that make the process waste proof without any without any waste full activity inventory is another waste which we have discussed in detail and inefficient worker working methods inefficient work methods are also waste we should employ efficient work methods instead of inefficient for that we are to study the methods thoroughly whatever inefficient activity is there in the processing we should get rid of that and we should make the work methods efficient inefficient processing when we say methods and then we have processing also inefficient we have to study the process in such a way that we should know what inefficient processing activity is there we should get rid of that inefficient activity unnecessary motions unnecessary movements are there maybe when workers are doing something unnecessary movements are there and we have to identify those unnecessary unnecessary movements and we have to get rid of those movements as soon as possible to make the methods efficient and <coughs> without any waste product defects when we are manufacturing we have to see that defective products are not being made not being manufactured because the defective products again add to the waste of the organization we have to get rid of this waste also so we should be producing only the quality products and not the waste products let's see with this slide waste in operations first is watching a machine run an operator is just looking at a running machine he is not doing anything so it is his wastage it is a wastage of human manpower and man hours are being wasted the worker is just looking at the running machine so we should not be doing that okay we have to see that process and activity and we have to get rid of this wasteful activity waiting for parts and people are waiting for parts the parts are not available so that is again a wasteful exercise so whenever the parts are required whenever the parts are needed those should be received at the shop floor immediately without wasting time otherwise it's a it's a wasteful exercise counting parts people have to count the parts this is again a wasteful exercise automatically counted parts should be supplied to the worker so that the worker can use the counted parts without wasting time on the counting process again counting process is a wastage so this is part of the operations management to make the operations and the process activities efficient one more example is being given here over production we have already discussed we have to produce only that quantity which is required by the customer not more not less exactly the same quantity which is needed by the customer that will be manufactured and will be supplied to the customer nothing will be kept in stock no over production will be allowed and this is part of what git just in time moving parts over a long distance machines are located far away and we have to move the parts from one machine to the other machine from one work center to another work center and the solution is 
machine should be installed close to each other, work centers be installed close to each other so that we are not wasting time in moving the parts from one machine to the other, from one work center to the other. If we are doing so, we are using just in time process and we are using just in time technique. And finally, we are approaching lean manufacturing. Storing inventory, again this is one of the fads, this is one of the unnecessary exercise what the companies are doing. That exercise is keeping the inventory, blocking funds blocking space, blocking building area and utilizing manpower, which is a wasteful exercise. We should not store anything as part of the inventory. So, this is again a wasteful exercise. Looking for tools, searching for something which is required. So, again people now are using methods by which tools are just visible, just having a look at the area will get to know that tools are available at that particular area. Tool storage planning has been done and these tools are being stored at, in a planning way, so that the workers who need the different types of tools and these are just visible and they can remove. And if these are not there, some indication will be there that tool is being used at, at that particular place and this can be made available from that particular place. So, we should not be wasting time in searching for tools, in looking for tools and even for looking for spares also we should not be wasting time. All the spares should be available at the desired place, all the tools should be available at the desired place. For that, we should have place for everything and everything should be placed in that particular designated place. So, nothing will be lost and the time will not be wasted in searching for these tools. Machine breakdowns, again this is a waste. If the running machines break down, that is a loss to the organization. Productive time is lost. And if you are waiting for the spares, again a productive means production time is lost and that is a waste and our operations and planning should be such that breaks, breakdowns should be zero and this is only possible if we carry out timely preventive maintenance schedules. Preventive maintenance should be carried out on time, so that machines are kept in always running condition there is no breakdown, no loss of production time. Rework, if you are producing defective material, we will have to rework or we will have to uh, declare it as a waste. If we declare it as a waste, then again it is a loss to the company. If work is done in the form of a rework, because the defective part is produced, that is additional activity being done on the job that again is a loss to the company, that again is a wasteful exercise. Kaizen philosophy, what is a Kaizen? Kaizen is doing small, small improvements in the organization. Even workers suggest the improvement, what they want to make their operations efficient, to make their operations easier and to make their operations safer. And these suggestions when implemented they give us enormous results, this is what we want and Kaizen should be implemented. Kaizen is nothing but small improvement and it is continuous improvement, the meaning is continuous improvement requires total employee involvement and this is only possible if the total involvement of the employees working in the organization is there. This is only possible if a Kaizen movement in the organization is there. Everyone is aware of the Kaizen activity and then everyone contributes to the Kaizen movement in the company. That means everyone is suggesting different improvement methods, so that 
they make their operations more efficient, more safe and more productive. The meaning of GIT is willingness of workers to, a sense of GIT is willingness of workers to first spot quality problems. Each worker should be aware of the quality and its importance in the organization. So, everyone should contribute towards the improvement process in the organization through Kaizen. Halt production when necessary. The production can be stopped whenever it is required. Maybe wrong products are being manufactured, defective products are being manufactured, overproduction is being carried out, immediately halt the production. Generate ideas for improvement and that should come through Kaizen movement in the organization. Ideas for improvement should be encouraged among the workers. Workers should be giving different improvement ideas. Then analyze problems. Problem solving techniques be discussed with the workers and they should also be trained on the methods of problem solving. On one side they will suggest improvement techniques, on the other side they will be having problem solving techniques. Definitely if they know both they will be able to give a solution to the problem and perform different functional areas. Multitasking in the company should be there to reduce manpower wastage. A worker should be able to perform more than one type of job and he should be trained on multi skills. If multi skills are there in the worker, multitasking is possible and that will reduce or minimize the manpower idle time. Kaizen philosophy, waste is the enemy. So, improvement methods be given by workers to reduce or minimize the waste rather to eliminate the waste from the organization. Improvement should be done gradually and continuously. I would say a continual method of improvement be there. You suggest something to for improvement, you implement it stabilize it and then do the further improvement. Then implement it and stabilize it for some time and finally, keep on improving continually. Everyone should be involved. Here the main philosophy is everyone working in the organization should be involved in the Kaizen process. Everyone should be encouraged to give improvement methods built on a cheap strategy and can be applied anywhere. Kaizen do not require costly techniques, costly methods. These are small, small improvements and the results are enormous. The only thing is we have to act in time. Whenever a suggestion is given by the worker, we should encourage him to implement it so that the improvements are seen, improvements are visible and the methods become more and more efficient. Kaizen philosophy and it is supported by a visual system. Visually things are installed in the organization on the machines so that these are visible. If something is going wrong, it should be visible. If something is being done right, it should be visible and it focuses attention where value is created. Each and every process should be a value ad added process and this is being focused only on the process where value is being added, process oriented and this is, this Kaizen is, Kaizen philosophy is process driven, process oriented. Stress is main effort of improvement should come from new thinking and work style. Important things being discussed in this, this statement are new thinking and the work style 
should be the point of improvement. The sense of organizational learning is to learn while doing. When operators are working on the machine, they learn different methods and they learn the improvement which can be carried out and then they finally implement that improvement method and they improvise on their previous methods and make the operations more efficient, maybe more safer and maybe more enjoyable and maybe more fatigueless. So, this is the use of Kaizen's in the organization. Big versus little, little is J I T, big J I T, broad focus, vendor relations, human relation, technology management, materials and inventory management. Okay? These are the big, th big things. We have to see that these are addressed in a proper way to make the things efficient. And this is called big JIT, little JIT. There are two terms, big JIT and little JIT. In little JIT, narrow focus is there. Scheduling materials, scheduling services for production. We will dis discuss it again. Big versus little GIT. Big means big things which have results uh, to be achieved in the long run. And these items are vendor relations. We have to make the vendor relations so that vendor is keeping the stock rather than we are keeping the stock with us. Customer relationship management and suppliers relationship management, both are to be addressed too, so that we have good relations with the suppliers and we have good relations with the customers. And then we have to see that human relations are also addressed properly, because a human, human manpower is our biggest asset. They can improve the methods, they can improve the bottom line of the organization. Technology management, technology again is the important method which can make the process efficient. We should employ the technology which gives us the results with the minimum efforts and with the minimum inflow of funds. And we should employ the technology so that the product made by using this technology satisfies the customer. Materials and inventory management, again this is done in a broader sense and it is called big GIT. On the other hand, little GIT, where a narrow focus is there, maybe focus on day to op day, -to -day operations are there. That means scheduling material and this is little GIT. And then scheduling services also for production, it is a little GIT and it is done on the daily basis and which is done on the broadly on the maybe quarterly basis or monthly basis or yearly basis, these are called big GITs and some things which are done on the daily basis are called little GIT. GIT building blocks, in order to achieve competitive advantage, through GIT, the necessary building blocks should be installed. The building blocks can also be regarded as GIT success factors or the basic elements of GIT. So, we have to break it down into different blocks and we have to take care of each block separately so that our GIT movement is successful. GIT building blocks. What are these GIT building blocks? Product design, process design, personal organizational elements, manufacturing planning and control, and supplier relationships, supplier networks. These are the building blocks for making GIT successful in the organization product design and we have to see product design with respect to GIT that we are not going to make any waste. 
we are not going to generate any waste. Our design should be such that waste generation is eliminated altogether. Next is the process design and our process should be exactly aligning with the product design. Design is such that we are eliminating the waste and our process design should also be matching with the product design so that it does not generate any waste. Personal oblique organizational elements, main power should be such that they know that there should not be any waste generation. They should be trained on no waste generation techniques. Manufacturing planning and control, here comes the meaning of planning in manufacturing. With respect to GIT, we have to do such a planning that no waste is generated, whether we talk of inventory, whether we talk of human beings, manpower and whether we talk of machines. No waste is there. Supplier relationships are to be maintained is the last element, last block in GIT that our relationship with the suppliers should be maintained and entire network of supplies should be addressed to as far as relations are concerned and everything included in the supply chain management should be addressed to, so that our implementation of GIT is more effective and more efficient. And preventive maintenance, we have to address this problem also. We have to see that preventive maintenance schedules are maintained and then jobs are carried out as far as preventive maintenance are concerned as per the schedules which we have already made. There should not be any slippage as far as preventive maintenance is concerned. If we are not maintaining these schedules and we are not carrying out the jobs as per this schedule, our machines will break down. Our spares will not be available when these are required. Machines will not run efficiently. Power consumption and the consumption of services on the machines will be more than what is specified and that will add to the wastage and what we do not want. It will defeat the implementation of GIT without having a proper preventive maintenance system. So, preventive maintenance system is also equally important to maintain effective and efficient process of GIT in the organization. GIT building blocks, product designed. Process design with product design, standard product configuration and standard parts be used, no non-standard parts be used in the product design. That will add to headache to the operations in the company. Reduced number of parts, when we say standard parts at the same time, number of parts required should be minimum as far as possible. Modular design be there and products be manufactured in modular form and then finally they can be assembled to make the final finished product. Concurrent engineering process should also be used. What is the meaning of concurrent engineering? Everything should be done simultaneously concurrently. Earlier we used to have the design from marketing research people and that concept is supposed to go to the design department, design department is supposed to give the design to the manufacturing, manufacturing will consult the purchase department and finally, product prototype will be made and quality control department will involved. Every step there is a delay. But nowadays we use the concurrent engineering, all the functional heads sit together and design the product. If there is a problem, 
with the marketing research people, that problem will be discussed immediately with other functional heads and a solution be found. No time is wasted and the concurrent engineering method is used for designing a product or launching a product also. Now, techniques are available like quality function deployment, making house of quality so that we are able to match the customer requirements, looking into the competition and our process requirements, we design the product and launching of product becomes simpler, easy and less time consuming if we use concurrent engineering methods. Highly capable production system to make the GIT effective, GIT building blocks, process design, small lot sizes, our process design should be such that preference be given to small lot sizes. Setup time reduction, setup time should be minimum, setup time is a setup time required for changing one design to the another design. Like in soft drink industry, we want to change from 500 ml to 2 liter bottle, the setup time should be minimum. Cellular layout manufacturing cells and group technology should be preferred as far as the layout in the operations management department is concerned. Reduced inventories, limited WIPs, work in process inventory should be minimum and that is the part of process. Our process design should be such that WIP is minimum. Continuous quality improvement and qual continuous quality checks are there in the process which are built in in the process. The operator who is manufacturing is well aware of the quality aspect of the process as well as the product. Okay? No bad quality product be produced, no rework should be carried out. Production flexibility, multifunctional workers, general purpose machines be used in the process. That is the guideline for making GIT successful balanced system. Balanced system is there, that, that system where idle time is minimum, rather idle time is zero. And this idle time we are talking about, the idle time of the work center, idle time of the machines and that should be minimum. This is only possible when the balanced system is there. Manufacturing line is balanced without wasting our time on the idleness. Fail safe methods be used, fail safe methods in the process be used so that failure cannot occur at all. Small lot production requires less space and capital investment. Here the two things, space as well as the investment is less if we use small lot production technique. Moves processes closer and together all the processes in the work center are close to each other. There is less movement of the parts. So, the waste on account of movement of parts is also reduced. Makes quality problems easier to detect. Because the lot sizes are small, quality problems get highlighted soon and then they find solution also immediate and these can be detected also. If detection is possible, their solution is also possible. Makes processes more dependent on each other because the lot size is small, each and every process is depending on other process. Benefits of small lot sizes. Now, we will discuss the what benefits we get out of making lot sizes small in nature. Definitely inventory will be reduced because the lot size is small. We will have the inventory in small sizes only because the lot size of the production is also small. Less rework will be there as a small lot size less rework. Less storage space is required if the lot size is small. Problems are more apparent, lot size being very small, problems, quality defects are visible and increases flexibility, 
lot size is small, we can change from one product design to the other product design without wasting time and it decreases the flexibility of the process and easier to balance operations. Easier to balance operations means it is easier to minimize the idle time and this is only possible if we use small lot size. Single minute exchange, this is called SMED, single minute exchange of die, a system for reducing change over time, a system for reducing setup time and this is through SMED process and categorize change over activities, internal as well as external. Internal activities that co can only be done while machine is stopped and these are internal. External activities that do not require stoppage of the machine because they are being done external to the machine. So, external internal, internal means which are to be done only after stopping the machine, external those can be done without stopping the machine, separately they will be done. So, single minute exchange of die is it is SMED and the layout also we should devote some time on the discussion of layout also because we have to keep the GIT in efficient manner. GIT objective is reduce movement of people and material. If that is the aim, we should concentrate on the effective layout also. Movement is a waste, we have to understand that. GIT requires work cells for product families, group technology be used as far as layout is concerned. Movable, changeable and flexible machinery be used. Short distances be covered. High level workplace organization and neatness should always be maintained and reduce space for inventory. Delivery directly to work areas and balanced workstation capacities be there. We have to make the operations balanced and that will be only achieved if we have a proper layout in the organization. Cellular layouts are GTs, group dissimilar machines in manufacturing cell to produce family of parts and work flows in one direction through cell and this should be the criteria that the machines be installed in the direction of flow of material, raw material, semi-finished and the finished product be moved in one direction and the machine should also be installed in that direction. Cycle time adjusted by changing worker paths cycle time again depends upon the movement of workers. How much movement is required by the workers that will go on the cycle time of the product. Decreasing setup times through cellular layouts. Layout tactics build work cells for families of products that should be the criteria while deciding the layout and these are called the tactics of layout. Minimize distances. Distances to be moved should be minimized. Design little space for inventory because inventory is getting reduced in every operation and we should have a very little space designated for inventory. Improve employee communication. Use poker yoke devices. Poker yoke means mistake proof devices be used so that mistakes cannot occur in the organization build flexible or movable equipment, cross train workers to add flexibility to the layout, quality improvement. Now, we have to attack the quality improvement also as far as GIT is concerned. GIT exposes quality problems by reducing inventory. As the inventory is reduced, the quality problems will get highlighted. GIT eliminates number of defects with small lots. GIT requires quality by suppliers. Suppliers should be supplying the quality products. If we are maintaining zero inventory, 
will have to put more efforts on the quality of the products being supplied by the suppliers because we cannot afford to lose on parts which are defective. Team approach and continuous improvement are important for ensuring quality. Quality is maintained by the following procedure. Find the root cause of the problem, solve it permanently and use team approach in solving the problems. That should be the method to be used in solving problems and basically problems related to the quality. GIT requires TQM. TQM is nothing but total quality ma management. T stands for total made up of whole. Quality, the degree of excellence, a product or service provides the customer. Management, directing, controlling, planning. And quality is not an act. It is a philosophy. It gets embedded into the heart and it gets embedded into the brain also. St statistical process control be employed for maintaining the quality of a product. Continuous improvement is another factor which should be utilized. Worker involvement and empowerment should be there. All the workers should be aware of the quality movement in the organization and they should be empowered to take necessary actions regarding the quality of a product or a quality of a process. More emphasis be given to the quality of the process and the quality product will get automatically manufactured. Inspect own work concept should be taught to the workers. One should be responsible for his own work as far as quality is concerned. Quality circles be encouraged to tackle the quality problems in the organization. Immediate feedback and fail safe methods such as poka yoke prevents defectives. Quality at the source should be maintained. That should be the criteria for carrying out any job in the organization. Quality improvement. GIT requires quality within the firm. Autonomation, JIDOKA, automatic detection of defects during production should be there. If defects are being produced, these should get automatically detected. If detection is there, they will find solution also. And this is done through JIDOKA, again a Japanese term, and quality by suppliers. Suppliers be supplying the product which has the quality, which has the specified parameters and specified quality only. Quality improvement. Jidoka assures quality of the source. And on lights signal quality problem. If we have end on lights in the organization at the shop floor, and this will give us the signal that the quality here at that particular point is being violated. Visual control makes problem visible. If the problem is visible, it will find its solution also. Visual control, just look at this diagram. I said we should not be wasting time in searching for tools. Tool board is there where items are put on the board and all the items have an outline also marked on the board. If something is removed, its outline will be visible. If something is removed, its outline will be telling us that that particular item has been removed, particular tool has been removed from the board. If everything is on the board, no outline will be visible. So these are visual techniques to know that whether all the tools are available at the shop floor or not. Similarly, visual Kanbans, Kanbans are also there. Kanbans are there to know that whether any work center require any item or not. Kanbans are the bins which are 
there to show that items are there in sufficient quantity or not or items are still required in that particular work center. These are through visual controls like Kanbans and the tool boards and these are two examples been given to show the importance of visual techniques in the operations management department. Again we will give you more visual control techniques. Workstation and on light is blinking, it shows that something has gone wrong at that particular point where this end on light is lighting. So, people are to go there to attend to the problem. Library shelf is also there and it will give us any missing item is there. So, diagonal line will get distorted if something is removed from the library shelf. So, these are all visual techniques visual controls and which these visual controls are more efficient as compared to the ordinary controls. Visual control, again I will give you one more method, good. If a point is given where exactly the reading is to be maintained, a better will be if it is in the red zone, red zone be marked because the pointer if it is moving in the red zone, it is a problem area along with red zone, if it is blinking a light also, again this is called the best one, good, better and best. Ordinary method with the pointer to know that what is the reading. With a pointer and a red zone, the reading is in the red zone, it is alarming. Reading in the red zone and a light blinking is again a best method, best visual method and this is called poka yoke production flexibility. Overall objective is to achieve the ability to process a mix of production in a smooth flow. And this is done through eliminate bottlenecks and these bottlenecks are reduced downtime by reducing change over time. Already we have discussed the setup, setup time should be minimum. So, we have to reduce the change over time and use preventive maintenance techniques reduce the downtime also. <coughs> we have to cross train the workers to make use of the multi skilling process, use many small units of capacity and use of line buffers and reserve capacity for important customers. <coughs> this will make our GIT system more effective and more efficient. And then we have to proceed on a balanced system all the work center and their capacities be balanced in production line. A balanced system distributing the workload evenly among all the work sta stations used in manufacturing a product. Work assigned to each work station must be less than or equal to the cycle time. We have to calculate the cycle time and the work center's time should be matching with this cycle time. Cycle time is set equal to the talk time. Talk time is the cycle time needed to match the pace of production to customer demand for final product. So, this is how to make the system balanced. And this is a diagram which is shown a streamlined production, traditional flow and flow with GIT. <coughs> In the traditional flow, different box centers are shown and their inventories are also shown and inventories in the form of ponds are given. But look at the GIT system which is very smooth without inventories as in the diagram at the bottom is shown. So, today we have discussed an important issue which is being addressed nowadays to make our operations more effective, more efficient and this is GIT just in time. We talked about not only inventory, we talked about all the ways which are generated in the organization. And we also discussed the methods to reduce or eliminate the generation of these wastes. GIT, lean manufacturing and Kanban. And these are the methods to make the operations lean and to make the operations efficient.
to show that all the faults, quality defects are visually visible. I hope I am able to make the things clear and the viewers must have understood the concept of GIT. Thank you so much. With this note, thank you, sir. Thank you so very much for uh, giving your expertise knowledge on this very topic that is GIT. Uh, just in time, dear friends, we would uh, be coming again with uh, another topic under operations management. Till then, if you have uh, any feedback or any questions, any queries regarding this particular lecture, you can mail us at info.cc at the rate nick.in. Till then, goodbye, take care. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so very much. Thank you.